What are R and K strategies of reproduction? There are two evolutionary strategies when it comes to reproduction. These are termed R selections for those species that reproduce by having many cheap offspring and live in unsustainable environments, and K selection for those species that reproduce by having expensive offspring and live in sustainable environments. These terms are R and K are drawn from the standard ecological algebra in a simplified Verhoes model of population dynamics. On a chart, on the y-axis is n, which stands for population, and on the x-axis which stands for time. Whereby n is population, r is the maximum growth rate, and k is the carry capacity. Carry capacity is the maximum population size of a species in that environment, whereby it can sustain indefinitely, given the food, the habitat, the water, and other necessary resources needed to survive. When it comes to evolution and reproduction, this is the trade-off between quantity and quality. Our selected species or our strategists emphasize high growth rates and living in a population that is lower than the carrying capacity. This is because they normally have a small body size, early maturity and a small gestation time. An example would, of this would range from bacteria to frogs. Whereas K-selected species live closer to the carrying capacity, supposedly have a longer gestation period, a higher birth weight, and a more delayed sexual mutation, and a lower sex drive, and have a longer life. Are humans are all okay K strategists? Humans are mostly K selected species overall. The confusion comes in on a biological level whereby male sperm tend to show an R reproduction strategy whereby on average the rate of sperm re reproduction lasts for 64 days for a new sperm in spermogenesis. This means on average you are making 1,500 per second or 8 billion sperm by only releasing 200 to 300 million in a single ejaculation. While female eggs are evolutionarily speaking is case selected because human females are born with all the eggs they will ever use from the time they are in the womb. At birth there are approximately 1 to 2 million eggs. By the time she reaches puberty women will have 300,000 to 700,000 eggs remaining. Yet only 300 to 400 will be ovulated during a woman's reproductive lifetime. So by the time a woman is 30 years old she has lost 90% of all her biological eggs. This is regardless of birth control because of the natural deterioration of female eggs. As I mentioned above the reason why mostly humans are case strategists is due to having a long a large body a long life expectancy and fewer offsprings with a long gestation period of nine months in humans which often require extensive parental care until they are mature on one study estimated a woman can have around 15 pregnancies within her lifetime and depending on how many babies she can expect from these pregnancies it will be roughly between 15 to 30 children